Hey everyone, talking about Karst by Aesop. This is basically a high-end woodsy aquatic. Not high-end in the sense that it smells necessarily fancy or, you know, definitely not try-hard in any way, but just that it's higher quality, better ingredients, and just a little bit smoother and more refined than the typical one in this genre. So the notes in this are juniper, pink pepper, bergamot, rosemary, sage, cumin, vetiver, sandalwood, and cedar. Normally when I see cumin as an ingredient in a fragrance, I run the other direction or prep myself really hard before trying it. It's almost gotten to the point where if I see it, even when I'm looking in food ingredients, it's like, oh my god, oh wait, no, okay, I'm cool with that in basmati rice, but I just do not have a good association of it with fragrance. It can make people smell, it's well known for me smelling like BO or just not good on a lot of people's skin. Uh, I don't, I rarely test that on skin because I don't really want to experience it, but in this case I'm happy to say that it does not have that effect at all. It opens with a very fresh, lightly woodsy, lightly spiced, refined kind of thing to the point where I was thinking, why are people comparing this to aquatics? This doesn't smell aquatic at all. You know, I was confused looking at Fragranica how this reminds me of section type of thing. But after about five minutes, yep, there it is. So then it becomes this very, maybe more marine than aquatic, I would say. It's not dewy, watery or anything like that, but it's kind of, it's salty in an almost like driftwood, marine, ocean kind of way. It really refined from like the rosemary and vetiver at this nice, quality to it that feels more mature, not in an age way, but just nice. Uh, the sandalwood and cedar keep it definitely woodsy, but for some reason, looking at these notes, you might not think, oh, this would, yeah, this would be marine aquatic, but it really is. Maybe there's other stuff that they're not mentioning, but whatever it is, that's what it ends up smelling like. It is 195 for a 50 mil. Given the quality of the ingredients, I don't think that's unfair. If I was just going off the smell, I have to say I feel like that would be kind of overpriced because yes, this it does smell higher quality than the typical one, but it really doesn't smell that far off by the time it gets to the dry down of a lot of other woodsy marine type scents out there. But if that's a genre that you like and you've mainly just tried designers and haven't found one that kind of really feels like quality, because a lot of those tend to smell kind of sometimes immature or cheapy side, but this, could satisfy that for you. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy a bottle or a sample. And yeah, if you know you don't like woodsy aquatics, marine scents, I wouldn't even bother checking it out. But if you do, this is a really high quality take on it.